channel i do hope you're doing well um if you've seen the baking video you're thinking shan you look the exact same yes i thought while i've got a slap of makeup on i might as well do me baking and also do my it's not a fake way how am i going to call this because it's just a bbc good food recipe but i wanted something that's going to be like a real nice warmer so again bbc good food cheesy chops and chips Oh my god, look at that. Now, I don't know if ours is going to quite look like that because we've only got two chops. And it does say to have four pork chops, but the pork chops that we get from the butchers are ginormous. So we're just going to go with two. And I wanted a nice hearty dish. I know it is still quite... Well, it's been miserable today, but it's still like dry and a bit sunny. Um, I still want to try and get in the autumnal vibes of having shoes but maybe like something different i definitely think that i'm going to be doing like a pie throughout this autumn and winter because that was a suggestion from quite a lot of you and i don't think i ever done pies last year it was all like casseroles and stews wasn't it so yeah any uh pie recipes or anything you'd like to see please do let me know but yeah cheesy chops and chips but basically it's not chips as in such of how we would know them it is kind of like a potato layered with onion kind of like a dauphinoise in a way but without the sauce and the creaminess with the pork chops on top we also have a kidney in with our pork chops so we're going to chuck that on i mean waste not what not and yeah it's just gonna be a very nice homely cooked meal which i think is definitely going to fill me up like i've got nan's old container this would be more than enough and look you can scrub and scrub but you can't get all of that off that is how you know it is a good cooking dish so the first thing we've got to do, it says to slice the potatoes thickly and peel them. Now, I don't want to peel them. I quite like a rustic vibe because I'm quite lazy. So you'll see an overview of the um, potatoes. You will see potatoes, but you'll see an overview of the ingredients. And there's not too much uh, equipment that we need, really, to be perfectly honest. So, yeah, hopefully this is a very good tasting dinner. Here's hoping. <laughs> How have we been? Autumn is beginning. The house, as you can see, a bit spooky spider. The house is full swing for autumn and Halloween. Now it says thickly sliced, so well, I'm quite chunky, and we've got to do a kilo. Well, that's a bit wonky. That's going to be a slightly larger one side. But yeah, let me know, what are you looking forward to now we are coming into the autumn months? Let me know. Now, I don't know about you, but I am slightly getting nervous now because we're like under a month countdown for the holiday. So as much as I'm loving autumn and Halloween, I still do have holiday mindset on because i'm like oh yeah like this time next month that sounds so surreal to say this time next month i will be in the dominican republic wow i haven't been abroad for like three years obviously the year that um sea hit we didn't go and obviously a lot of things have changed since then so i am off on my first solo travels which i mean Sounds exciting, sounds lovely, and don't get me wrong, I am very excited, but there is just that um, worry in me, I think a natural worry, but I think once I'm out there, once I'm, uh, once I'm on the plane, actually not even on the plane, once I'm through security, I just keep having this fear, like I'm checking all of the um, entry requirements daily, trust me, I'm getting like, I'm not getting caught at the airport. That's why I keep thinking, I think, oh my God, I'm going to get there and they're going to say, nope, sorry, the rules have changed and you need to be vaccinated, obviously, of which I'm not. And I'm going to be stuck at an airport that I can't fly out to anywhere in. But no, I keep checking it day in, day out. There's no changes. Touch wood. I change it daily. Change it. Change it. What am I trying to say? I check it daily. That's it. Because with TUI, if, say, anything changes, you have to go to TUI to amend it within seven days 
it's not like say if you was due to go in July and the rules changed in say January and you leave it a month before your holiday and they're like oh actually I can't travel they'd be like well it's been in place since January so kind of tough which is a really bad way of looking at it but yeah that is the rule so I am checking it day in day out trust me and um I went and checked it the other day and I was at work and I said to the lady I was like oh she said what I said oh my god have I just smudged my lipstick this is why I don't do cooking with makeup on normally. Um, I said it's not in column one. So I thought that everything that you did have to be vaccinated for was in column one. And it went over to column two. And oh my God, I literally, you know when you just have that sick feeling, like I felt like I was going to poop myself. I was so like, oh my God, I read it all and it still said everything was fine. It's because they'd added Denmark to the list. Denmark, you can still now go to without being vaccinated. I was like, whoo! Oh! Jeez Louise. So, uh, yeah, that was a little bit worrying. And then that day also, I had an email from Tui to say amendment. And you know when you just see that word and I'm thinking, oh, they've changed the fly or like, I don't know, the upgrade's gone, they've overbooked. And no, it was just to tell me about somehow, um, because I had to pay quite a large room occupancy charge, um, apparently it had been over-calculated and they owe me a hundred pound refund. So that's fabulous, ain't it? So I'm gonna go down and sort that out in the week because, I mean, that's another hundred quid towards me duty free, eh? Shouldn't really look at it. Should be going towards like spending money and that. But I'm just like, oh, duty free time, eh? But yes, oh, I'm not gonna use that bit. It's a little bit naff. But yeah, um, I'm gonna try packing in a couple of weeks. Because I just think I need to be prepared. I need to know how much I'm going to be over. I'm just waiting on a few last bits from Amazon to come. Because I've ordered some like uh, things that I think will help me with packing, you know. So I need to wait for that to come. And then what I'm going to do is do a trial pack. So literally sort all my outfits, everything that I want to wear. Let's pop you over there. And then get anything out that needs to come out wash iron or just like a freshen up you know and um then repack it all properly and once that case is shut it is shut okay because i can't be dealing with oh i think i need to put that in and I need to, once that case is shut that is not getting opened again until i'm in my hotel room and then i just have to worry about my hand luggage and that that's what i'm more worried about my hand luggage because all these rules and regulations, I'm thinking, right, nothing over 100 mil. Electricals, I've got to keep out. Like your batteries, like your, your uh, camera batteries and that, you need to keep out. And, oh my God. I haven't been abroad in like three years. And it's like, oh, I don't know what on earth I'm doing. It's like I've had a total mind blank. But yeah, I am going pumpkin picking though, however, before we go away. So that's great. Can you get me older uh, pumpkin Pumpkin festive season on, let's just say. And also, before I'd be going, because we would have been pumpkin picking, I will be doing my batches and batches of pumpkin stew, pumpkin soup, pumpkin, I don't know, anything she wants. So I'll be like cooking away before I leave so that she's got plenty of food for while I'm away. I said to her, did she want Hello Fresh? She was like, well, maybe the same dish because she gets flustered. She was like, I'll be fine. But you know, when you just were like, I want to make sure she eats. So I thought, well, if I do like pumpkin soup, she can just take a bowl out every night to defrost and be done with it, you know? But yeah, I have made a huge mistake. I should have waited for mum to come back. Oh, these onions are strong. Oh no. I'm gonna take all my lashes off at this rate or slice my finger off. That was very, very close, Shannon Lee. Oh. So literally, you just put this all in the bowl. So it's a kilo of potatoes and one large onion very large onion I must say, and then two tablespoons of oil, salt, pepper, and what else had to go in it? Salt, pepper, oh, and the splash of wine, I think it was. It said wine, stock or cider. Just went with what we had in the house really, to be honest. And then it all gets chucked in the dish. It says to cook for, got my eyes, 20 to 30 minutes. Oh, I can feel them starting to cry. Um, 
And then put your chops on top for 10. However, our chops are huge, so they're probably gonna take like another 20 minutes. Oh, right, my eyes are stinging. I am going to sort this out, and then I'll just put you on a time lapse while I'm mixing it all and chucking it all in, because you don't need to hear me waffle on anymore. <laughs> I got nothing to worry about when you're by my side. Mm -hmm. I got nothing to worry about when you're by my side. Right, so I think I might have needed a bigger dish, but. We're gonna go with it. So you've got all your potatoes, onions, garlic oil, seasoning. And this goes in, it says for 30 minutes until crispy. And then I've got some, I put my chops on it. So it might be we get halfway through cooking and I change the dish. Let's see how it ends up, eh? So you would have seen there, I just transferred it over because I think if I'd put the chops on there, they would have overhung a little bit. And I also wanted the potatoes underneath to get quite crispy. So I'm actually going to put them back in for another 30 minutes and then we can put the pork chop on, we'll put the kidney on and then we'll do the sauce and it goes under the grill. And fingers crossed, we should have a good dinner because mum is literally standing by the camera because she don't want dinner, she just wants the pineapple upside down cake. She just wants the pineapple upside yes, down yes, cake. Yes. And if you'd have seen the baking video, you know it actually turned out quite a bit of a success. So yeah, that's Ooh. all she wants. That's all she wants, the cake. Let them eat cake, let them eat cake. We need to eat this first, even though you would have seen, mm. yes, yeah. even though you would have seen the baking video before this, <clears> we can't <throat> be having it before because it's, it looks too nasty, yeah, doesn't it? We'll have to but, cut it in squares where the rings are. No, you. I'll have one long slice. You have the other We're going to break up the rings. Lord of the rings. Right, I will see you once. That's been another 35 minutes. Then we can oh, put right. the chops and kidney on. All right. A breeze from the deafening sound. But you were Right, so chops have been in 10 minutes. Mum is on grating cheese duty. Right, no? Yeah, yeah, you can start right. mixing the cheese. Just have to check the it says 10 minutes for the chops, but ours are big chops from the butchers, so I don't want them to be raw. I'm gonna give them another five, 10 minutes, and then, it seems like a really simple sauce, but I don't think it's a sauce in terms of... Where's the black bowl gone, Mum? Oh, to put it in, I thought you had this for the juice to go on. No, I need to make the sauce. I don't think it's meant to be like an actual sauce sauce. From the looks of it, it's just meant to be almost like a paste that you spread onto the chops and then put it under the grill. So we'll try. So it's three tablespoons of milk. And then the mustard, I think we might as well just use the rest of this up. It's not much left. This is the garlic cumberland honey mustard that I picked up when I went to the log cabin. That's the last of my mustard from my log cabin travels. As we all know, I do like to get some chutneys and everything and anything. Two or three chutneys in there, we'll have to use Oh yeah, them. we've got sausages we can yeah. use them with. Yeah. Make sure you get every last bit. But this is the first time that I ever saw garlic mustard. So that is that. Goodbye Cumberland honey garlic mustard. And then it says you've got a whisk it. Well, I'm not putting a whisk in a bowl, so we'll just get a uh, fork and then whisk that slowly. And we'll add, have we done all the cheese? Yeah. Cheese is all right. 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 Oh. Cheese. I did say 100 grams, yeah. so that should be right. I'm going to bring you down and see you whisking it in the action to see how it's actually going to come together because I'm a little bit dubious. A 
got nothing to worry about when you're by my side. I got nothing to worry about when you're by my side. I bled from the wound for at least a year. I couldn't clean myself up. I reached out for the bottom rung. You hoisted me. So, you would have seen there, that is a huge Canon focus on the food. Look at that, that is a huge portion with a kidney, nice crispy potatoes. I said it's almost like a mixture that you would put on like cheese on toast, you know? Crispy, crispy. Mmm. Oh, that is actually very nice. Because these potatoes are like a fritters, aren't they? It kind of reminds me of shredded potatoes like potato dough from while, but without the creamy sauce. Mm -hmm. So it's called cheesy chop and chips. So they're classing these as like the chips, really. Mm. I know um, it didn't say kidneys, but we had kidneys in with the chops that came from our butchers. So let's have a little taste of a kidney with the potato. Oh, goodness, I know. Because mm. you know what kidneys are that never is called? Awful. That's right. Let us know down below whether you are an awful lover. Um, normally, if I say to people at work, oh, I'm having like kidneys or liver, that uh. and hearts, that's awful, isn't it? Mm. We need to try them. We've had them, though, we had we? them with the stuffing. Yeah, yeah. What did you think? Quite liked them. Yeah. Nana G used to love them. I didn't really like liver growing up because mum used to cremate it. Thank you. When I learned how to cook it properly, it's just and it. a couple of times, isn't it? But I like it braised in gravy. Yeah. Nice and soft. Mm. Because I had the more crispier chop, I gave mum two of the kidneys. But yeah, our butchers, he'll always put kidneys in with your pork chops. That cheesy topping would be so nice on gammon. We've got plenty of gammon joints in the freezer still. Hey. Oh. That would be nice. Do you not think it's too much cheesy? Too nice cheesy though, for you? Hey? Too cheesy no, for you? No, not too bad, but I'm saying you can taste the cheese, can't you? Well, it is mature as well. You're, you don't normally have no, no, but I do like strong doing cheese. It. Oh, let's get a bit more of that meat. It definitely is something like you could put on this mixture, like on toast, isn't it? And then shove it under the grill, almost like it as a make it as like a rare bit. I think that's what they call it. There's no veg in it. Just onion. Oh, <clears throat> so we're going to demolish this. I've put on a little short series that I started. Um, hard sell. It's with Catherine Tate, so it's a comedy, so I thought Mum would like that. So we will sit and eat our faces, eat our faces, stuff our faces, and we'll come back with, hopefully, two empty bowls. So, make sure I haven't got any of my lipstick under my mouth, which I probably have, because I was a... Uh, well devouring my dinner there. Mum is still tucking into the last of hers. But, 10 out of 10. That was a good find for BBC Good Food. Mm. We wanted to do something, we just wanted to use bits in the freezer and I was like, I'm kind of sick of chicken. So we saw the chops and I just typed in pork chop recipes in BBC Good Food. There was one, it was like an Irish cider pork chop. 
but we've already done like an Irish stew this year. So I saw this and I thought, cheesy chops and chips, how hard could it be? And it weren't. The only thing that I did, which I shouldn't have done, it said for the recipe to peel the potatoes, but I actually don't mind the skin on them. Just less chopping and less uh, stuff to uh, wash up. Mum is still casually <laughs> eating away. <laughs> chops are really nice, love the kidneys. And yeah, overall, that was really mm. nice. 10 out of 10. And you think that took maybe, what, an hour, if yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. It would have took less because the recipe just says to have the potatoes and then do them once. But obviously, I changed the dishes and I wanted to toss them all around so that they all got coated. So I do prefer actually doubling the time cooking the potatoes so that you get, like, a good mixture of the crispy ones. And then chuck the chops on. We had the chops on for 15 minutes in the oven and then 10 minutes under the grill. But yeah, I really like that because it's not like I would have thought it would have been dry. But even though there's only it the tiny, cheesy, didn't it? yeah, even though it's only a tiny bit of milk on the crust thing, it actually I didn't feel it was dry. No, oh, nice. The potatoes weren't dry. I mean, the potatoes were crispy, but they weren't dry because obviously they had oil and the meat juices and all that. <clears throat> so I think for our first like autumn fake away well it's not really a fake away it's just like a cozy autumn dinner dish really i think i'll give that a strong 10 out of 10 i loved yeah. it and that again the recipe was for four chops obviously we just had two because ours were bigger but that could be something we could do in say like the big silver tray have four chops and that's like meal prep that's lunch and dinners for two days yeah in october right yeah so that's probably what we're gonna have to do <laughs> mum's like when all the bills go up, we're going to have to batch cook. I was like, I'm fine with batch cooking. Absolutely fine with batch cooking. It's easier. We can batch cook the pumpkin soup. I'll come back off holiday. There won't be a pumpkin soup in sight because mum will have eaten it all. Yeah. We can do stews, casseroles. There is one thing that people say, because I didn't do any last autumn or winter, to do a pie for like a cosy dinner. Oh, right. We've never done a pie. No. And I don't know whether you mean in terms of like a full pastry pie because i'm not gonna lie a fruit pie or a meat pie no meat pie like oh, a right. di dinner pie um i don't know about you but i find pastry quite heavy and i get bored of pastry the only pies that i will eat are is it bird's eye yeah yeah with the uh, short crust pastry. short crust chicken and veg pies they're the only ones where i'll actually eat all the pastry so it might be we haven't even got a pie dish we can just use that glass dish or Nanny's round one with the lid. That's a pie dish, like a mini casserole. Hmm. Because like, the way that I think of doing a pie is because I don't really like pastry. I wouldn't mind making my own like um, puff pastry or by feel or whatever. I'd want it where it's just like the pie top. Yeah. So we could yeah. do like a nice mixture and then you just put your pie top on. The lid. And then have it in a bowl. Yeah. Because I don't really, a pastry just don't really sit well with me and it fills me up. I'd much rather have the filling. So yeah, people said uh, to do a pie. So let us know what... um flavours you would like maybe chicken and veg steak and kidney chicken and mushroom beef chicken and mushroom yeah let us know uh, what you would like fish pie love a good fish pie but yeah i think uh we are going to round that out because it's very hot no, yeah mum is she's wanting the pineapple upside down cake because we're fi filming it filming at the same time as we've done the baking video so yeah and i've got teddy bear duvet on which is probably not the greatest thing all the candles are burning it is hot it is like a sauna. But just think, this time in one month, I will be sipping a pita colada. You're going to be on your own in a month's I time. I'll be in here in the bed. Yeah, I'll probably go on holiday. She will actually probably keep in this. <laughs> I'll FaceTime her and I'll be like, what are you doing in my room? As long as the bed's changed when I come back, I don't care. No, I, I won't come in here. I won't come in here. Won't <laughs> you come. say that. No, I won't. <laughs> so, yes, as I say, if you did enjoy the video, guys, you know what to do. Hit that thumbs up and subscribe down below. And as I say, let us know how you think it turns out. I will, of course, leave the recipe down below. Any pie recipes, let us know. Mother, you enjoyed that? Made a change with a pork chop? Yes, yes, very good viewers. And let us know, do you like offal? Hearts, kidneys, liver? That's Hearts. it, isn't it? Hearts, yeah. Hearts, we'll kidneys, try that again, liver. That's the only bit of offal yeah. you have. Oh, it's kidney and liver, yes. I don't have like tongue. Well, you probably could have tongue, but I'd never had tongue or oxtail or stuff like that. No. <laughs> Take care, guys, and we'll see you very... Well, actually, when will we see you? We'll see you tomorrow. No. When's this going up? You're seeing us six days a week, so I'm sure oh. you'll see us tomorrow. If it's going up Tuesday, I'll see you Thursday. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye.